So respected Dr. David Kumar, principal of uh, Arts College, Rajamandri, all the faculty and the students who are online and the non-teaching staff and others. Uh, it is my a great privilege to visit your college today and see various departments, facilities, centers of excellence, laboratories, e-classrooms, and other infrastructure. Based on the presentation of our principal, I could see that uh, the Arts College is uh, doing very well under his uh, leadership, dynamic leadership. Uh, first of all, I congratulate the principal and all of you for the excellent work. So that is the uh, first thing. And a college of this history and this name, this teacher, uh, is most important for us. We are extremely happy that uh, this college is with us uh, under our jurisdiction. In fact, uh, we want to work with you more rigorously so that uh, mutually beneficial programs can be initiated in future for the benefit of the students. And when uh, I need to address the students who are online, I want to, first of all, wish a very happy and uh, healthy stay at home because of this COVID-19, where you're all how to stay and locked up at your homes. But I suggest you one thing, don't get into any kind of psychological depression or don't waste your time but sitting idle at your homes. Please study and keep yourself busy and take this as an opportunity. All the students should take this COVID isolation as an opportunity to learn and to develop your subject. And if possible, try to learn something new, taking advantage of this leisure period. So that will give you an immense satisfaction because you have used this time very productively and you have learned and you have developed your academics. So I wish all of you use all the resources possible, including internet, availability of various books and other resources. Try to utilize your time productively. By the time after the COVID, suppose your teacher or teachers ask what you have done during COVID isolation and lockdown, you need to come up with some productive work, something you have learned during this COVID. So that is the way of a commitment of the student. A student should be always studious. A student life is to learn and learn and learn all the new things using the time very effectively. So all the students who are online, just follow my principle my suggestion, because the teaching will be only 30 to 40 percent, but uh, the 70 percent work should be from yours, because you know about your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else in this world. So try to use your strengths positively, try to overcome your weaknesses and try to work hard and become successful citizen of this country. I always say one thing to my students, because being a teacher, I tell to my students like this, when you go to the bed on a given day, you have to question yourself, what I have done today? Am I at least learned something new? have done anything new or learned something new which is useful to my future. So first of all, question yourself. If you feel 
that you have wasted your time entire day you get up and because you don't have don't deserve to sleep you get up and learn something new and then earn the right to sleep that is what a student should be thinking and always try to make use of the expertise of your teachers the teachers are available so you have excellent facilities the only thing is you need to come up and use these facilities more effectively the teachers are highly helpful the administration as i came to know at any time they are the student friendly so they have the slogan student first that means you should know and you should realize so this is the institution which is giving you the maximum opportunity which is giving you the maximum importance so they are telling you because of you only this institution is there so you have you are the most important person for the administration for the teachers for the staff so you are so lucky to study in such an institution to get that kind of privilege that kind of importance that kind of facilities to learn to develop yourself and be good citizens and successful people and having successful career in your future all i always say one thing you may be having all the subject all the knowledge you have learned but the most important part to be successful is you need to present yourselves for that you need to have the communication skills a person with good communication skills will be automatically will be successful suppose you are in attending an interview or a, a personality test or a presentation maybe you know everything but you are unable to express properly then technically the board or the experts will feel you do not know the subject so knowing is one thing presentation is the other thing so the presentation skills of course i came to know that majority of you are from english medium so that is one biggest advantage but the simply by telling that you are from english medium it may not be enough you need to have that kind of uh, presentation skills writing skills and other soft skills which are highly required for the present generation so you need to work hard parallelly along with your subject use your all the facilities because you have a counseling center you have a career and a guidance center there are experts here available try to use these facilities the library facilities and the expertise of your teachers to become 100% successful persons in your life so that is what i wanted to tell you the other thing is you need to know where to go after the graduation which line you wanted to go so there are many opportunities you can go in the line of research you can go line of uh, competitive exams you can go for a higher education in india and abroad so you need to know based on your family and personal choices and limitations of family you need to select a right path if you have an opportunity if you have support from your family don't settle for smaller jobs when you have a chance to study further try to attempt for bigger things suppose you want to be having a right to competitive exams try to attempt for civil services or the groups of the state and don't settle for smaller jobs like a 10000 or 50000 jobs and that ultimately it may hinder your prospects if it is inevitable to have a job i don't object but if you have chance suppose you have parents who are supporting you and financially and morally so then take up is a challenge and try to achieve bigger things remember the people who are successful 
who are selected in IAS and IPS are just like you. They are no other, they are no different from you. They are just like you and you have a very chance. Believe in yourself, try to achieve. As Vivekananda said, persist in your aspiration and it will be fulfilled. That means you have to persist. So every cell of yours should be reverberating with your ambition every day, every minute, every second. At the same time, do that hard work. I call the hard work should be planned, systematic hard work. I hope and believe and wish you will be very successful in your future and make this great institution proud of you. And also I want to just say a few words to my teachers here. Being your teachers, I love my students always. And always I go out, out of my job to help students. Uh, as you know, I also believe students are first for any institution. You'll be surprised to know that I have, a, my students have kept a group of webs in uh, WhatsApp, Professor MJR's Students and Admirers group. That is the group. About 500 of students from all over the world, they are there in that group. They always uh, appreciate they always share. This group is very professional. It's not a good morning, good afternoon, like that. It is a very professional group. Only we share all the technical information, which may be useful for our geologists as well as students, uh, and we'll be pass it on so that it will be uh, shared by others. And you'll be also surprised to know that uh, being a professor of geology, Maybe my colleagues here must be knowing about 200 to 300 students of mine uh, have been given guidance to get some employment uh, in private companies and oil companies. So that is the immense satisfaction being a teacher uh, because I always feel, especially in institutions of higher education, the teachers should not confine themselves to the classroom teaching only. They have the responsibility beyond the classroom. They need to identify the students, the spark in the student, in, uh, inculcate uh, that kind of uh, professionalism in the student, encourage the student. So we never know. He may become one of the great scientists or great economists or great management person. So we need to identify, especially that is the biggest challenge of the teacher. So it is not only simply completing the syllabus, conducting the exams, giving the results. A teacher's role is much beyond than that. You should be having that kind of commitment to help the students after the class hours as well. Whether the student needs a counseling, a student with learning disabilities, students who are slow learners, students who are, who are very hesitant to ask questions. There are students, they want to ask the question, but they're very hesitant. We need to concentrate on such students. We need to encourage them. We need to just help them to become normal. So that is the, also we need to have those skills of psychology, psychology of students. The students will be always in the first benches. They are very active. They will be asking questions, always. So the teacher will be concentrating on the first benches only. But a real teacher will be concentrating on students who are hesitant, who are in back benches, who are slow learners. Then only we are doing justice to the students. That is what I always say. And always, I also want to say, the most important thing, let us not use any harsh words in the class. Those harsh words 
or threatening demoralize the student especially the students with uh, the learning disabilities slow learners and the people are who are having who are hesitant to ask questions so a teacher should have the maximum patience he should not be angry he should not use words like you cannot learn you are useless you are waste those kind of words should not be used unfortunately unfortunately some of the teachers i don't know about this institution i am talking about other institutions there are teachers who always say i will fail you that is wrong how can you say even before you conduct the exam how can you say you will fail somebody that means you are immoral even without even looking at his paper you are saying that you want to fail then what for this examination is all about that means even if he does well in the exam you want to fail him is it a right uh, dialogue no but there there are teachers uh, in universities because a teacher who cannot uh, deliver who cannot teach who is having problems of expression lack of subject lack of knowledge they want to threaten the student they want to snub the student so the student may not ask any questions the student will keep quiet hopefully there are no such teachers here if there are one or two maybe i request our principal sir to set them right so that is the most important uh, uh, thing i wanted to tell you another thing i want to tell the teachers is a teacher is always he should be a continuous student he should be a, a, a more than uh, he should be working more harder and uh, uh, committed than a student because so you you are giving the instruction to the students that means what is happening in the world in the given subject should be you need to update every day otherwise if you you just keep uh, some old uh, uh, notes and some old textbook uh, it doesn't work that way so you need to update yourself so that you give the information which is the latest which is advanced and what is happening in the subject that is most important and also tell the student the teachers that uh, try to incul inculcate the creative mentality in the student because students are very creative they are highly creative we, so we are so lucky that we are working with these youngsters who are bubbling with energy only you need to identify that kind of talent maybe some people are good at uh, even writing some papers maybe good at uh, making some models maybe good at uh, making some presentations so try to use them their talents and inculcate that kind of creativeness among these students i always tell the teachers to do some kind of uh, continuous research work try to publish papers try to work with uh, other experts so many teachers say sir we don't have infrastructure so i am an expert in this but uh, i don't have an in instrument to do the work i don't accept that because if you are really interested in doing some research suppose a, a teacher who is uh, uh, in working in some x subject can always collaborate with the national institutes there are many national institutes who will be allowing the teachers during summer time we can go there and collaborate with them and do some research even if you have no collaboration also you can simply do and publish review papers so what is happening in a given subject in india at an international level you can review always it is called review paper so you can publish review papers also so in that way you will have that kind of uh, uh, research activity gives you immense satisfaction when you see your publication you see your name in the publication in the print it gives you immense satisfaction and people in your field uh, will be knowing about you 
maybe in future you may have opportunities of collaboration. Similarly, there are uh, some department I have seen one of my this uh, nano materials. He is doing good work and uh, uh, need to inculcate the students to be innovative, to be inventive. They should know what is meant by invention, what is innovation, what is patenting, what is copyright. So such kind of ideas also we need to give them so that they'll be thinking differently. So they may think, okay, suppose there is an equipment here, how to improve this equipment? How to replace this equipment with other equipment? So he will be thinking in an innovative way instead of uh, telling the student just by heart some four or five essays and write them in the exam, get the first class as the best CGPA, but it, it, went, it won't work. So you need to encourage to be innovative. And uh, I always congratulate all the teachers who are working hard, committed to students' welfare, giving the instruction and the updates of the subjects. I once again congratulate all the teachers and the students of Government Arts College Rajamandri, who is working greatly and progressing very well under the dynamic leadership of Dr. David Kumar. Thank you very much. Congratulations, sir.